On to news that's breaking right this minute. The missing AN-32 aircraft has now been located. Remember, the plane went missing on the 3rd of June. Uh, the wreckage of the aircraft has now been found. Uh, in the latest that's coming in, uh, the uh, wreckage has been located after that eight-day long search. Remember, the aircraft had gone missing. Uh, on the 3rd of June, the plane uh, the wreckage is located in Siang district. Uh, that's the latest that's coming in. Uh, this was uh, a mammoth operation that saw uh, multiple agencies and forces joining hands to try and locate the wreckage uh, of the aircraft. In the latest that's coming in, the wreckage has been recovered. The plane, remember, took off from Jorhat at 12.27 p.m. on the 3rd of June for the Menchuka Advanced Landing Ground. Its last contact that day on the 3rd of June, uh, eight days ago, uh, was uh, with the ground control that was at about 1 p.m. A mammoth operation was then launched. It's been uh, eight days uh, since uh, the AN-32 aircraft went missing. Uh, this was around the remote Menchuka area in Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, the Indian Air Force had earlier informed uh, that the aerial search and rescue operations uh, were being carried out on a war footing by helicopters and the C-130s. Uh, there were no sightings reported all through the last eight days. Now, in the latest that's coming in, the wreckage of the missing AN-32 aircraft has now been located in the Siang district. We are awaiting further details on uh, what the authorities have been able to establish so far. Let's tell you a little bit more about uh, the fateful day when the uh, AN-32 aircraft uh, went missing. Uh, this was on the 3rd of June. It had 13 people on board. It took off from Jorhat at 12.27 p.m. for the Menchuka Advanced Landing Ground. Its last contact with the ground control teams was at 1 p.m. that day. It was missing since then. A total of eight air crew and five passengers were on board the aircraft. A total of 13 people were on board. A mammoth operation uh, with the Indian Air Force and the Navy aided by the Army, the local police, the state government, the paramilitary forces uh, and uh, local civilians all had, uh, took, uh, had taken part in that operation to try and look for that transport aircraft. Let's get in uh, further uh, reactions now from uh, retired Air Marshal Anil Chopra joining us on the phone line. Um, Air Marshal, you've also flown the uh, AN-32 uh, and you have been telling us constantly uh, about uh, your perspectives. Now, in the latest that's coming in, uh, the wreckage of the aircraft now has been located. We are awaiting for the details on that front. Your initial reactions, sir, on those developments. Yeah, you know, it has been uh, rather long. Uh, uh, you know, we had to wait for so many days. Unfortunately, they, in spite of the fact that the Army, Air Force, Navy, civilian, government, police, everybody was uh, in the search. And, uh, but the search was being hampered because of two reasons. One, of course, the very thick jungles, and the second was the weather. And uh, we are very happy. Uh, just initial inputs have started coming, that some parts have been uh, uh, found. And uh, I'm sure that in the coming um, uh, a few hours, a great amount of uh, uh, information will come and it should bring finality to an issue uh, that has been not only about the families but the entire Indian Air Force. And um, it, it was a serious thing. But, uh, you know, even in the past, whenever there have been uh, uh, accidents in Arunachal, uh, especially in Arunachal because of the thick jungles, uh, we have taken uh, often... Uh, uh, you know, seven to ten days to be able to get to the wreckage. It happened in the helicopter crashes where in one of them even the chief minister had died. Uh, so there are uh, uh, issues in this area. And uh, let me also tell you that, you know, uh, there are still uh, uh, 50 to 100 aircraft of the Second World War which the American families are still trying to search for uh, in Arunachal uh, Pradesh, and every year one odd aircraft is, uh, you know, or parts of one odd aircraft are found. So uh, I am personally very happy. The Indian Air Force and the families will be uh, at least relieved that uh, the uh, aircraft uh, wreckage has uh, now been found. Uh, of course, uh, we only hope uh, that some miracle is there and that there are some survivors. 
Absolutely, sir. Positive developments on that front. Uh, sir, we've also been telling our viewers all throughout about uh, what uh, has led to uh, the delay in a way. It's been an eight-day long operation. So we have been also talking about constantly uh, of the factors that contributed to this operation becoming all the more challenging. The weather conditions and the terrain, of course, uh, had uh, um, led to further difficulties on the ground. See, there were two types of uh, 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 systems of uh, search that uh, uh, followed. One, of course, is technology. Technology means we use the Su-30 and the C-130 initially and subsequently PHI and the RISAT satellites. All these have uh, capability of uh, uh, synthetic aperture data. No, synthetic aperture data can uh, see uh, uh, if it... Uh, if, uh, you know, on the surface, but if the wreckage is uh, deep under trees and the trees are thick, then uh, some of these technologies do not work. Unfortunately, as we all know, that the electronic uh, transmitter, ESP, which is supposed to be there in this aircraft, that transmission signals were not uh, heard, and uh, therefore either it was unserviceable or it was not working or it was not there, we do not know. All this will come out subsequently in the court of inquiry, but I must uh, get back to the point that we have found the uh, wreckage from whatever initial inputs are coming. Uh, that's a great uh, uh, initial news, and I'm sure a lot of things will flow hereafter once uh, the Air Force take charge of the luggage uh, wreckage. Absolutely. Uh, M. Ashul, uh, Anil Chopra uh, getting us uh, uh, further perspectives on uh, what uh, uh, this entire operation has been about. Remember, multiple challenges that the teams on the ground have been facing. Uh, we also have been telling our viewers uh, about... Um, the mammoth operation that was launched uh, and which saw the involvement of the paramilitary forces, the Indian Air Force, the Navy, aided by the Army, the local police, the state government, the local civilians, they all had uh, joined that operation to try and locate that missing transport aircraft. Ever since it went missing, it had 13 people on board in the latest that's coming in following eight days of those search operations. A uh, wreckage of the AN-32 aircraft has now been located. It's been located uh, somewhere near the Siang district. That's the initial uh, piece of information that's trickling in. We'll, of course, uh, await uh, further details on that front. But that uh, is the positive development that's coming in, as Air Marshal Anil Chopra was just telling us. It's uh, uh, a step uh, that uh, is certainly a positive development in that um, in that case where the wreckage of the AN-32 aircraft has now been located after that eight-day long operation. Thanks very much, uh, Air Marshal Anil Chopra. will, of course, uh, continue to track the latest coming in on that front. Uh, further details will, of course, keep trickling in over the last few hours. But as of now, what we do know is that the wreckage of the AN-32 aircraft that went missing on the 3rd of June has now been located.